As the impacts of global warming advance through the Northwest, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers scientists, biologists, and engineers at the Walla Walla District are developing methods to mitigate the impacts to fish in the Snake River. The district team has developed water cooling systems at Lower Granite and Little Goose Dams in the Columbia and Snake River system. Salmon are cold water species. They're cold water fish. Um, they like uh, cold water and the timing of their migration uh, is such that they avoid the hottest times of the year. So even historically, there, during summer was very few, relatively few adults that were moving up through the system. The Snake River, the lower Snake River, especially in summertime, um, the water temperatures get warm. And it's always, always has been that way. With the reservoirs that are behind the dams now, we have uh, the Warshak Reservoir up on the, in the clear water. It's a very deep uh, uh, reservoir, and so that provides uh, has a source of cold water that can be released to the system. So what that means is as the temperatures down at Lower Granite start approaching 68 degrees or the flows start getting down to 50,000 cubic feet per second, we start releasing water here to help cool the river and help downstream migration for juvenile fish. The key is to try to keep the Snake River at 68 degrees or, or less than that. That's, that's kind of the, the sweet spot for, for the adult salmon because it's coming from deep in the reservoir behind Dorshak. It comes out at about 45 degrees Fahrenheit it obviously helps cool down the Lower Snake River. Biologists have determined that the temperature of the river is critical to their survival. So cooling the river benefits the fish, but at the same time as we're taking water out, we're also negatively affecting recreation and the economy of the local community. So we've put in destination docks, we have opportunities that are out there for boating, and we're also looking at ATV trails to help people utilize the resources that we manage. Starting summertime, after the 4th of July, they start releasing water from Dorshek. It moves down through into the Lower Granite Reservoir. It takes about three days to get to Lower Granite Dam. Granite is a key location. It's, it's the first dam that uh, smolts hit. They come into the impounded part of the, of the Snake River. It's the last location that adults uh, hit before they get into the spawning areas up in Idaho. Once it gets lower granite dam, it gets passed through the dam, either through the turbines or through spill. That mixes it up and then it causes, it cools off the rest of the river. Yeah, the water keeps moving down the stream, it gets to a uh, little goose dam, it gets mixed up again as it goes through. When the water is released from Dorshak, of course cold water sinks, it drops to the bottom of uh, lower granite reservoir. Why don't we pump it up? into the top of the fishway to create a cool water corridor that the fish can pass all the way through and get into the reservoir. As long as that cooler water source is there coming from Dorshak, they can keep the ladders cooler year-round. Two years ago, they implemented the same operation at Little Goose Dam. They pumped the water up from deep in the reservoir into the fishway, and now the ladder is cool all the way through. It's a really valuable resource, and we have that water available at Dorshak, and we want to use it wisely, so we make use of it.